Hey everyone, Med Made Easy here. Today we're going to bring to you a video about small bowel obstruction versus ileus. Now these two conditions can present very similar and that's, a, that's the reason why I think a lot of people get them confused. But it's important to know the difference and there are several differences. But there's also several similarities so we'll go over a few of these things. This is going to be a quick short video. It's going to be something just enough to give you an idea and not go in depth. We maybe do that for another video. To start off with, let's talk about, let's begin with small bowel obstruction. Now, let's think of it this way. A small bowel obstruction is actually an actual blockage in the intestines. It can be caused from lots of different things, but the, one of the most, uh, most common causes for it is actually scar tissue. And then there's other things like cancer, hernia, impacted feces, diverticulitis, inflammatory bowel disease. All of these different things can contribute to blockage as well. Now let's talk about these adhesions. They can cause kinks in the small intestines and prevent stuff from flowing in the right direction. Reoccurrent abdominal surgeries can cause these adhesions. This is why small bowel obstructions are often associated with surgeries and increase risk if the more abdominal surgeries that you had. And it, can ha it doesn't always happen right away. Sometimes it actually can happen years later. Now let's talk about an ileus. An ileus is basically when the intestines aren't moving. I always think of it like they're frozen. It typically happens after abdominal surgeries as well. And this can happen for different reasons, but one of them, a big one, is medications given after surgery. It can actually slow down the movement. In particular, medications like opioids and anticholinergics, which you know most patients after surgeries, they end up getting pain medication. The intestines do something called peristalsis, which is basically the intestines contracting and relaxing. This is what your, your intestines do all day long. It's how everything moves down your gut. And this helps to move all the food that you eat down the GI tract. Peristalsis is not happening when you have an ileus. And Potentially, it could even lead to a small bowel obstruction. Let's talk about small bowel obstruction versus ileus. Now, the symptoms of these two can be very, very similar. Nausea, vomiting, bloating, stomach cramping, pain, constipation, inability to pass gas. And they both are diagnosed in similar ways. Usually, they'll need an x-ray, but sometimes an ileus won't show up on an x-ray. The treatment also can be very similar, including bowel rest, medications that help. In particular for uh, an ileus, a lot of times Reglan is used. NG2 for decompression, IV fluids, pain relief, and um, patient is usually kept MPO. Antiemetics like Zofran are given. And then sometimes general surgery is also consulted as well. You actually have to do surgery depending on how bad things are. So the big thing is, is to remember that the big difference between the two is that small bowel obstruction is basically a complete blockage where ileus is basically when the muscles or nerves aren't working. It's not necessarily if there's a blockage at all. It's just that things have slowed down. I'm glad that you watched this video. Hopefully this clarified some things. Please hit the subscribe button and make sure to check out some of our other videos. Hit the thumbs up on this video if you like these kind of clarifications and also Hit the notification bell for the latest videos and check out our Instagram page as well where we have medical questions that we um, do and also medical information tips and a bunch of other stuff. So, all right guys, until next time, you guys take care.